SCP-2754 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-2754 is to be kept inside a standard safe class storage locker in Site-77 that is to be secured by keypad. Testing of SCP-2754 is not to be performed without Site Director approval. Any individuals involved with tests pertaining to SCP-2754, including the test supervisor, are to be administered Class A amnestics after the test is complete. Description SCP-2754 is a paperback self-help book that is 326 pages in length. The contents of SCP-2754 are split into seven chapters written by the now-deceased Ruth Waits and a prologue written by Dr. Bill Simmons. When the conditions for triggering SCP-2754's anomalous effects are not met, SCP-2754 contains advice on various topics such as finding the motivation to do certain tasks, finding an individual's purpose in life, and finding happiness in an individual's professional situation. In various pages, there is a caricature drawing of Miss Waite's head with a speech bubble going into further detail about the content on that particular page. These speech bubbles typically have a pun relating to the topic discussed in the associated chapter of the page. SCP-2754's publisher page indicates that it was printed in 1988 by <laughs> Press. Anomalous properties of SCP-2754 manifest when a subject has a desire to know how to accomplish a specific task and opens SCP-2754 to a random page. Regardless of where in the book the subject is opened, the first page that is seen is a page that reads, Chapter 8, Your Questions Answered. Subsequent pages in SCP-2754 contains advice on how to best accomplish the task the subject wishes to do. The caricature of Miss Waits is also present in pages in this state, however it will make statements that are directly targeted to the subject reading it, which will contain details of the subject's personal life, their dietary habits, childhood memories, and the subject's family and friends. At the end of the chapter, there is a sentence that reads, Know your limits, but push on forward. I believe in you. Enter subject's name. Testing Logs Test 1 The 4th, 1992 Subject, D-3420 Procedure Subject was instructed to find out how to construct a wooden chair. Results SCP-2754 provided advice on how to best construct a wooden chair, included various suggestions such as what type of wood to use, and how to improve the chair's structural integrity. Test 4 The 25th, 1992 Subject D-1331 Procedure Subject was instructed to find out how to be kind to others. Results SCP-2754 provided words of encouragement to the subject, provided advice on being more patient and being empathetic. Subject noted that the book told her that not everyone is her enemy. D-1331 claimed that her mother told her otherwise. Test 7 the 9th, 1993. Subject, D-8622. Procedure. Subject was instructed to find out how to cook beef using nothing but a pile of rags. Results. SCP-2754 provided advice, including diagrams of how to light a fire using the friction of two rags. Subject attempted to perform this act using his uniform and was promptly subdued by security personnel on standby. Subject is currently undergoing medical rehabilitation. Test 13 The 1st, 1993 Subject Junior Researcher Vi Procedure 
subject was instructed to find advice on how to cure his alcoholism. Vi willingly volunteered for the test. Results Chapter 8 of SCP-2754 solely consisted of Ruth Waite's caricatures, providing the subject with reaffirming messages stating that it's not your fault, and Patricia still loves everything about you. Subject requested that he should not be administered amnestics. Request was denied by the site director. Test. <laughs> Subject. Junior Researcher Ertain. Procedure. Subject was instructed to find out how to become a living paradox. Results. Data expunged. Subject was administered Class C amnestics and was transferred to a different project without incident. Addendum 2754-02 Discovery Log The existence of SCP-2754 was brought to the attention of Field Agent Valencia on March 30, 1991, while she was off duty. Agent Valencia was speaking with an individual who will remain unidentified about his work ethic and inability to accomplish tasks given to him. He claimed that he had bought a self-help book that he saw on an interview on <coughs> Today, which would help him run for local office, but he claimed that the book was false advertising and stated that he would take legal action against Miss Waits. Agent Valencia quickly found a recording of the aforementioned interview and subsequently reported it to the Foundation. Miss Waite's address at the time was discovered by the Foundation and a raid was issued at her residence. The house was apparently abandoned and SCP-2754 was located on the floor in her bedroom. Further research revealed that SCP-2754 was published by Press, as previously mentioned in this file, an investigation began on a warehouse that belonged to the company. The Foundation seized 600 potential copies of SCP-2754. Subsequent testing revealed that none of the seized copies of the books were anomalous and returned to <coughs> Press's warehouse. An employee at the company stated that most of the copies that the Foundation had confiscated were returns from customers. Grade A amnestics were given to all individuals involved in the incident. It is worth noting that the non-anomalous copies of SCP-2754 had Prologue spelled correctly on the cover. Investigation of Ruth Waits found that she was killed in a car accident on September 4, 1989 in <coughs> South Dakota. Further investigation into the background of Miss Waits is currently ongoing. Addendum 2754-03 Note found upon discovery of SCP-2754 Goddamn idiots. All I wanted to do was help people. Nobody bought my first book. The second I try something different, it blows up in my face. I wonder if... Data expunged. ...was even worth the trouble. I suppose this isn't something to be depressed or angry about. I just have to keep going. I may have to leave town.